Well, those bitter cold temperatures are creating dangerous conditions for millions of Americans. Temperatures dropping to 27 below in northern Minnesota. While the wind chill will make parts of New Hampshire feel as though it's 85 degrees below. Now, all of this is creating major health and safety concerns. At least four people have died. So the big question, what can you do to protect yourself and your family? Joining us now, Dr. Ernest Patty. He's a senior attending physician of emergency medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital. Welcome. Great to see you here. Thanks for having me. The one thing people need to know, it just takes a few moments in temperatures like this to really suffer some serious consequences. Definitely. With the types of wind chill factors that we're getting right now and the extreme cold, all it takes is a few minutes of unprotected uh, skin to be uh, affected by the cold. Literally, people need to know that dressing you know, warmly makes a huge difference, even though it seems like common sense. Exactly. It, we have that acronym that we use, the COLD acronym, the C for, you know, cover yourself, and that includes areas that are very prone to injury, fingertips, toes, and the end of your nose, your earlobes. Uh, you know, always uh, you want to make sure that you're uh, uh, not overexerting yourself because when you're outside in cold weather like this, then you build up a layer of sweat and that sweat underneath the warm clothing can actually help you get chilled even more. You want to dress in layers. Uh, you want to always make sure you do that and you want to dress properly for the environment, you know. Is there a big difference in terms of the elderly and young people in, in the ways that they can really uh, get sick and suffer some major illness? Definitely. Older people usually have a decreased cold tolerance. Their metabolism tends to be a little lower and they don't realize, they don't sense the cold as, as quickly as younger people do. Uh, plus they have other health concerns as well that affect their ability to be uh, warm and to remain warm in cold climates. They also take a lot of medications which can decrease their ability to stay warm properly. So the elderly are definitely a high risk category as well as infants. Infants really can't tell you when they're cold and uh, they have a, a decreased ability to tolerate cold, cold temperatures. So it's important to check on both of those extremes. I know you brought some props in today to <laughs> show us what we can do to better protect ourselves. I did. Common sense things that we all know and grandma already taught us this but you know maintaining a good diet and staying healthy includes lots of fruits and vegetables you need to drink a lot of water as well and people say oh that why do I need to drink water because you need to keep the integrity of your skin and your skin gets very uh, dried out during cold weather like this so you want to make sure you moisturize and hydrate properly to keep your skin as healthy as it can be to help you ward off the cold uh, you also want to dress warmly as we discussed and that includes uh, you know good clothing warm stuff that you can wear uh, layer hats, gloves, mittens, and a lot of the clothing should be tightly woven because you want it to be able to repel water. Uh, wearing clothing, if it's wet, is, is really not as good as, uh, you know, it, it's not as even uh, a, a worthwhile idea. You want to wear dry, layered clothing that's tightly Some people woven. find it all frustrating because you're outside, you're freezing, and then you come back into the buildings and it's really hot, so they tend not to want to layer up like this. It, I agree, it is frustrating. You're on the subway, you're sweating, you're taking things off. But if you do dress in layers with, with you know, clothing that's warm, yet not as heavy and bulky, it's sometimes easy to pull your coat off and maintain your body temperature. But it is difficult. It's a challenge in today's society. It's a challenge just getting around <laughs> in, these, in these temperatures. But uh, this is very good advice, doctor. Thank you so Thanks. much for joining you're us welcome. today. Don't Appreciate forget your flu shot. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. John? Got it.